All right, and now we are in the cycle where Met fans say that the team is back because now they've won back-to-back -back games. Mets win 5-1 to over the Washington Nationals in game 103 of the season, and everyone's panicking. Why did we sell? Why did we get rid of David Robertson? Well, because it's the Washington Nationals. Are we going to take much stock in these wins? I don't think so. And Pete Alonso and Max Scherzer pretty much put the team on their damn back today in this one. Granted, there were some good other performers here. Jeff McNeil performed very well. Uh, I mean, the list kind of ends there, although Ottavino and Rayleigh, I thought, were pretty solid for the most part. But again, this team wasn't necessarily outstanding tonight, especially with how Mackenzie Gore was pitching. They could have definitely done a lot more damage, and they had opportunities too, and they almost blew an opportunity too with runners on base and no outs, but then Pete Alonso came to the dish and did his thing, which he has been doing lately because he's finally out of that slump that he was in, and which is really nice to see. He's got that batting average up to 220. I'm not a big batting average guy, but I, as I say all the time, if you want to be considered a superstar in this league, you got to be able to hit for average power, all of it, you name it, or at least put up decent, respectable numbers. I'm not even asking for a two. I'm not even asking for the world from Pete Alonso. I'm asking for a 240, 250 batting average from him, but he's getting up there and let's see what the Mets end up uh, doing. If they're going to continue to sell and, who knows if Pete Alonso gets hot, maybe they'll end up selling him. I know that might sound crazy to some fans, but you never know. You never know because I really don't even know what direction the Mets are going to go in because there are indications that they might move Verlander. They might move Scherzer here at the deadline. Scherzer doing a good job boosting his trade value if he is going to get moved, in fact, but we don't know. And if those two get moved, that's kind of a big indicator that maybe the Mets are going to go in the direction of a rebuild where if they were still trying to contend, they would probably keep those two next year and try to get more. Or unless they have a different plan, if they move both, maybe they want to get younger arms for the rotation. They're going to try to get Otani in the rotation, try to get Julio Urias in the rotation. Who knows? But that's a conversation for another night. Let's talk about this game. Before we do, leave a like on the video if you do enjoy. Subscribe if you guys are new, especially if you're Met fans, and turn on your notifications so you know when I upload or go live next on the channel. But let's talk about it. As Scherzer has a good first inning as he gets three uh, or two strikeouts and gets a one, two, three inning is what I meant to say in the top of the first. So it was nice to see Max Scherzer actually get a couple strikeouts and actually get a one, two, three inning, something I felt like we were never going to see again. Brandon Nimmo get uh Brandon Nimmo then gets a single and then Lindor hits to do a double play and then Pete Alonso pops out to end the inning top of the second Cabert Ruiz hits a single Corey Dickerson strikes out Luis Garcia hits a double so all of a sudden there's trouble Vargas flies out Smith then walks so all of a sudden again there's trouble and Dominic Smith has not been good and he walked him on I think four pitches there and then Alex Call ends up grinding out to. Brett Beatty at third to end the inning there. We go to the bottom of the second where Tommy Pham leads things off with a fly out. And then, again, the Mets had opportunities to do damage as Jeff McNeil got a single here. Mark Hanna then walks. And then Mark Vientos ends up striking out. And then Brett Beatty strikes out to end the inning. And it's just unfortunate that because I want to see these young guys perform and produce, but not a good look for them today at all. Uh, top of the third, another one, two, three inning for Max Scherzer. He picked up one strikeout in this inning, but still very good to see. Bottom of the third, Alvarez ends up walking. Brandon Nimmo hits into a line out. Francisco Lindor flies out. And then Pete Alonso hits into a ground out. We go to the top of the fourth, where Mark Cannon makes a pretty good catch over there in right field to stop K. Ruiz from getting what could have probably been a double if he didn't make that catch. So a nice little catch there. And then Dickerson strikes out. And then Garcia. Grounds out. We go to the bottom of the fourth. Tommy Pham flies out. And then you had a dropped foul ball uh, error by Cabert Ruiz. Jeff McNeil then gets a single. Mark Canna lines out. And then Mark Vientos. Uh, well, first of all, really great catch there by a call. But then there's some even better defense as 
This one was grounded by Mark Vientos to Luis Garcia, and he ends up making a nice snag and throwing it over the first. And I'm pissed about it because I'm a Mark Vientos truther, and I want him to get hits, but didn't happen there. Top of the fifth, Vargas hits a single. Dominic Smith then lines out. Uh, the Nationals end up challenging a play where Vargas attempted to steal a base as he was called out. They challenge it, and the calling on the field stood as he ended up being out. Alex Call then gets a single, and C.J. Abrams then hits a new ground out. We go to the bottom of the fifth, where, again, the Mets had an opportunity to really capitalize here, but they didn't. Well, they did, but they almost didn't, I should say. As Beatty and Alvarez walk back-to-back, Nemo then hits new fly out. Lindor hits a new fly out. And then P. Alonso crushes one, tanks one to the upper deck to make it a 3 0 ball game. Tommy Pham then hits a single. And then Jeff McNeil ends up grounding out. And that is the end of the inning. And we go on to the top of the six where Lane Thomas strikes out. Candelaria walks, Cabert Ruiz flies out, Corey Dickerson grounds out. We go to the sixth inning where Andres Machado comes in. He gets a one, two, three inning. And then the seventh inning, unfortunately, Scherzer allows a run as Luis Garcia hits a home run the center to make it a three to one ball game. And all of a sudden, there's a little bit of panic because who's going to come in in the bullpen? Is Scherzer going to be able to get through this inning? And he did. As he gets Vargas to ground out, Smith finally gets a hit off Scherzer. Of course, Dominic Smith gets a hit off Scherzer when he's not a Met, right? Uh, and then Alex Call lines out. C.J. Abrams pops out. We go to the bottom of the seventh where Garcia comes in the pitch for the Nats. Alvarez strikes out. Nemo hits into a fly out. And then Francisco Lindor gets a really nice single. And then... Pete Alonso crushes a second home run the center to make it a five to one ball game. So all of a sudden the Mets are, we don't have to worry as much as they're in business. Tommy Pham then strikes out. Ottavino then comes into the game as Lane Thomas grounds out. Candelario then gets himself a single, but he ends up trying to advance there and he ends up being gunned out there at second and he ended up being hurt. I don't, remember did he come out of the game i don't believe he did no he didn't but he was the dh either way so that makes sense so we'll have to see what happens there because that's a guy that could be traded at the deadline that if he's hurt yeah i wonder if he's still moved caber ruiz then grounds out and then Corey abbott comes at the pitch for the nationals as mcneil gets a single canada then hits into a fly out mark vientos walks and then Beatty strikes out and alvarez grounds out to end the inning we go to the top of the ninth where Brooks Raley comes in to pitch the ninth yet again, and Stone Garrett comes up to pitch hit. He strikes out. Garcia hits a single, but then Vargas hits into a double play to end the ball game. Mets win 5-1. to one. Eight hits on each side. One error for the Nationals, none for the Mets. I mean, good, good start for Scherzer. Good start. I mean, six hits, you would maybe like a little less, but still seven innings, one earned run, two walks is not bad, and seven strikeouts. Definitely an improved performance from what we've seen from Max Scherzer as of lately, so I'm not going to rip him the shreds. I'm pretty pleased with the start that we got from him, and he definitely was a big reason as to why they won this game. Wish he could have done it before the Mets waved the white flag, but that's a whole different conversation. Ottavino did great, only in allowing a hit, but still did very good. Brooks really allowed a hit too, but he still looked great, got a strikeout in the inning. Pitching was not anywhere near the issue. The hitting... Could have been better. One for seven with runners at scoring position is a yikes. Seven left on total. But at least the top of the order, everyone got a hit today, right? Nimmo got a hit. Lindor did. Alonzo killed it today. Had all five RBIs for the Mets today. And he ended up hitting two home runs, of course, going two for four. Very good day for Pete Alonzo. And it'd be nice to see him break out of the slump fully and... It would have been nice if it was earlier, like with Scherzer uh, pitching a good game, but... I digress. Uh, Tommy Pham, one for four. You'd like better than that from him. Nemo and Lindor all going one for four. You would have liked better. McNeil, though, going three for four. That is something that we like to see. So it sucks that five out of the eight Mets hits were from Alonzo and McNeil because the bottom of the lineup all was a bunch of 0-4s. All of them had a walk. Alvarez had two, which is nice because I want to see him get that on base percentage up, but... I'd like to also see him get hit still. I'd like it if he could somehow do both here. I don't know why he's hitting ninth, though. That's a little odd to me. If it was up to me, I would have put Beatty or Vientos ninth, but 
I'm not the manager at the end of the day. Vientos goes 0 for 3. Beatty 0 for 3 with three strikeouts. Yikes, especially after that report that we saw earlier about how they won't trade for Arenado because they put trust in Beatty, which, oh, listen, I'm all for because I would rather the Mets actually develop homegrown talent for once. But I, again, wonder if Beatty's ever going to get another triple A stint considering how he's not been performing the greatest. I know he killed it in triple A and forced the Mets hand, but he's really been struggling that. I don't know if it's worth keeping him up on the roster, but it's not my decision. Uh, but yeah, cute little win for the Mets. For anyone still believing they could contend, well, congratulations. This is a big win as they now are, what, six games back? Six and a half. So as the Cubs are red hot right now ahead of them, the other teams aren't too hot ahead, but I still, again, I, I'm still in full belief that the season's done, especially with Robertson out. And because it's going to get ugly at some point, these uh, games with the bullpen, because they can't use out Vino and Rayleigh every single game. And I think tomorrow we're going to see an ugly combination coming out of the bullpen as they get to play the Nats as it's Patrick Corbin versus Carlos Carrasco. Oh boy, it's going to be the B unit of the bullpen. So we're going to see our Drew Smiths. We're going to see our Trevor Gotts. We're going to see all those type of guys. But hopefully they could win the game, right? Although I don't, I don't know how to feel. I'm also worried about them potentially being buyers at the deadline just because they beat the Nationals. So I, I, I'm like mixed on how to feel at this, but it is what it is. Well, let me know your thoughts on the game though in the comment section down below. I would love to hear from you guys. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you guys are new, especially if you're my fans. Turn on your notifications so you know when I upload to go live next. And I will see you guys in the next one.